morning, everybody. Michael Govier here, Fantrax YouTube channel. Thursday night, stop and chat. I'm going to talk about the game in about five minutes or less from a fantasy perspective. Everything you need to know is going to be there. Quick and easy. Get in, get out. Get out with your life. Steelers, Vikings, Thursday night. Don't forget to sub our channel. And do not forget, FantraxHQ.com. Top-notch, complete, total, and free coverage of every angle of fantasy football. I'm telling you. Find out for yourself. FantraxHQ.com. All right, let's dive into it. Let's start with the road team, the Steelers. Big Ben is old. He's slowly dying. Oh, we're all slowly dying, apparently. We're not going to last forever, right? But Big Ben is on the precipice of his NFL death very, very soon. And on a short turnaround, you really got to think, good Lord, can this man hold up? Plus, he's just not been himself this year because he's old and his arm isn't the same and he can't move. Remember, the I was watching the Super Bowl last night. Steelers, Packers, prime Big Ben, and he was buying more time because he could get out of the pocket. He could just throw defenders off of him because he was such a beast. But those days are long gone. And on a short night, he's going to be getting rid of the ball very, very quickly, I believe. The run defense for Minnesota is actually pretty solid. So Najee Harris, great PPR play as always, but despite the volume, he never scores. The scores aren't there. I like Najee Harris tonight. I'll probably put him in my uh, DFS showdown tonight on DraftKings, which I got a couple lineups locked in for. Although I'll probably be tinkering because this is being recorded just after 5 p.m. on Thursday night. But Deontay Johnson, Claypool, Freermuth, like all three of those guys. Deontay's very consistent, racking up the points per reception. And Claypool is overdue. And last week, Jared Goff of my Bozo Lions won a game against this Vikings defense right here. So you got to feel pretty confident that the Steelers, even though Big Ben is... Coming off a short week, and he's weak, and he's just not the same. Quick passes, quick opportunities. He can still throw up a couple of easy lob passes for Claypool to come down and get with that massive catch radius he has. And Claypool is due. I'm really banking on Claypool to have an excellent game tonight. We need to see him. He's had some injuries, too, so I can understand why it hasn't been a great year for him. But I love Claypool. You always love Johnson. Uh, if you want to throw a wild card of another wide receiver like McLeod or Washington, you know, be my guest tonight, but I'm not as excited. But I wouldn't be surprised if they slid into the mix. And then Pat Freermuth, I love him. I always have. I've pushed him all year. I've been one of the biggest proponents of Pat Freermuth. Forget Kyle Pitts. Give me Pat Freermuth. He's outproduced him this year, especially with touchdowns. And in the red zone, he's a great option. And if the Vikings defense does anything all right, it is stop the run. So Najee Harris, good for PPR, not so much excited about his rushing attack. And that's pretty much it on that side of the ball. If you're looking for a sneaky bozo play, Mr. Gentry, the backup tight end for the Steelers, is worth maybe a shot in the dark if you're looking for a cheap, kind of easy mark to slide into your lineup. Now let's head over to the Minnesota side of things here. Minnesota Vikings, Kirk Cousins. We know the narrative. He always chokes. He doesn't play very well in these primetime games. We've seen the record, obviously. But the Steelers' defense, coming off a short week, they're not as good as we would like them to be. They never are. They're not a dominant defense by any means. No Adam Thielen tonight, so everyone's thinking, this has got to be another huge night for Justin Jefferson. But what if they try to shut down Jefferson, take away their most dependable weapon? This guy, maybe not most dependable. Maybe you would say Delvin Cook is the most dependable. But the most talented, most elite player on the field is Justin Jefferson. And Minka Fitzpatrick is out there. He'll be roaming around. And T.J. Watt and this pass rush can get after the quarterback. So K.J. Osborne is starting to become the darling of everybody tonight because there's no Adam Thielen. And K.J. Osborne came out hot at the beginning of the year. I remember that 69-yard touchdown pass he had against Arizona right out the gate. And so it was like, whoa, hey, K.J. Osborne in the house. Going to contribute this year. It's been sporadic, but this is a golden opportunity for him. But I see the ownership being very heavy tonight, which does concern me. So if you're looking for contrarian plays, D.D. Westbrook, I own it. That's one angle. I think a better angle is Ty Conklin, who has been reliable for the Vikings this year. I really like Conklin here. 
maybe over Osborne. Although I can see Osborne being targeted plenty and still being good. I'm just trying to go in a different direction than what everybody else is starting to glom onto. You know what I mean? But I see Jefferson possibly being limited, and I would be very, very suspect about putting him in my captain spot in the DraftKings showdown lineups tonight. I'd be a little worried about that, even though he's so good. I get it. And then, of course, this whole running back situation is the big story of the day. It's 10 after 5 Eastern time right now when I'm recording this. Dalvin Cook, he could play. He played against the Saints two years ago with a similar injury on a quick turnaround, and he ran for 98 yards and carried the ball like 24 times. So he's shown he can play through this in a victory on the road in New Orleans in 2019, a playoff game. Now, it really is playoff mode for the Vikings because they're 5-7. and seven. So Dalvin Cook could very well do this. So there's no way I can sit here and tell you that I know what's going to happen. I haven't a clue. I have not a clue. All I can tell you is Dalvin Cook can do it. He can play through it. And Alexander Madison is a great replacement for him. We know that. So there's really nothing I can tell you to give you any type of edge or advantage. I really can't, except for the fact that we have a precedent for Dalvin Cook doing this. That's the best that I can offer you. <laughs> I'm not in the locker room. I'm not there on the field right now. And I got to get this out before the game starts. So eventually, if he's out there in the pregame and he's with the first team and it looks good, I think you got to lock in on Cook and say, hey, let it ride. And if Cook plays, that definitely opens. In fact, Cook or Madison could open the game up more for Justin Jefferson. I could see it going that way. But either one of those running backs will be beneficial. I have no doubt about that. Just a matter of which one it will be. <laughs> Your guess will get a <laughs> I have no idea. There it is. So that's the fantasy look. Thursday night stop and chat. FantraxHQ.com. Get your fantasy football analysis there. Total complete coverage for free. For free. You like free. I love free. Come on. Don't mess with me. You know you love it. And of course, sub our YouTube channel here. We would love to have you. Take a moment of your time. Click that button. And sub. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Michael Govier, Thursday night stop and chat. I'm going to go tinker with my DFS lineups for the next three hours. I'll see you tonight on Twitter. Bye-bye.